kind of got you started doing this meet? What, was, what motivated you? Well, you know, for years, you know, for years, um, you know, I've participated in track in high school and college, and as you know, as a post collegiate and a master thrower, and there's really so few times, especially like midsummer, there's so few opportunities for people to be able to throw. So I thought, geez, it'd be a great idea to have a thrower's meet. Mm -hmm. So do you mean for this to be like a good social atmosphere as well? Well, that, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I guess I first envisioned, this is our 10th year, I guess I first envisioned it as an opportunity to throw it for the throwers to have center stage. Um, number one, because in a typical meeting, the throwers out of the field, nobody, nobody really seems to care. Okay, so that's number one for the, centers to have, for the throwers to have the center stage. Two, to, to stimulate interest in throwing, you know, on a high school level at first and then more on a college, you know, it's built to where, like today, we had literally kids eight, nine years old, and our oldest throw was 76, to really just to, get, to create more interest in the throwing events. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what's it like having that kind of range of ages and, you know, oh, men, Lord. female? Is it, is, it, is it fun? To run us well, through that a little it, bit. It, it's almost like a three or three circus, you know. There's so much going on, and you try to, you know, or juggling, you know, juggling. You try to make sure everybody's taken care of, uh, that everybody gets their due share of attention, you know. Um, it's, just, it's, it's, it's a real, real neat thing to sort of, you know, it's, it's sort of discombobulating, you know, but it's a neat, I find it'd be a really cool thing. Okay, and I got, I got two questions for you based on what, whom I've talked to today. Your, your spirit today has been described as electrical, among other things. How do you there must keep be some, that energy? There must be a lot of crazy people now. Um, <laughs> you, you know, true, I, I just really, really enjoy this. You know, for whatever reason, you know, I just really do the energy of watching, you know, again, eight-year-old girls or 76-year-old men throw. You know, magic's magic. You know what you're looking at. And there's a lot of really neat things here. There have been so many great throwers. And, you know, okay, that being said, you know, this champion, that champion, there's so many state champions here. It was crazy, you know, as, as you guys got the picture. But, you know, uh, just probably more neat people, nice people, interesting people as opposed to even the great throwers. So it's really just a neat thing. I, you know, I get that's my feeling. So maybe that creates my uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm or energy. Mm -hmm. And do you use the same, that same kind of enthusiasm as a coach? Well, I, try, I certainly try to. I try, try to. I model a lot of what I do off of Coach Dick Estes, who we introduced earlier to the crowd. He was a longtime uh, coach at Woodlawn High School. And, I, and I've talked with this with uh, Lewis before, is that a lot of his success really was based on, you know, how, you know, how much he really cared, how enthusiastic he was about what he was doing. You know, I think a big part of success in coaching or anything, anything in life is, you know, are you sincerely interested and do you sincerely care about what somebody's doing or what you're doing yourself? You know, I think a lot of people do this through life just, okay, okay, I'm doing this. You know, my philosophy, you're going to do, you must do it right, you must have a good time. Mm -hmm. You know, and it seems like with throwing and track and field, I'm able to do that a lot better with, you know, than say other aspects of my life sometimes, but with throwing, it's easy to be enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. So validate this statement for me. You love what you do. Oh, Lordy. I mean, you know, I, I certainly do validate. Okay, that's, how would I validate? Um, like, can you expound upon that? It's obvious that you love what you do. Like, well, you, 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 know, you know, I guess that's a good question, my friend. A good question. And, and the value, the answer to that question is like, I, I, I see things. Okay, now that's, that sounds crazy. You know, I am a little bit crazy, but, you know, I see, you know, I just see magic. You know, a girl like today, a girl, Virginia Wusu Mainu from Seneca Valley. Okay, you know, she's thrown far. Okay, she's like 128 this, shot like 37 something. And that's, you know, that's very, very good. She's a state champ, but she's a lot better. I know that. And you say, Nick, how do you know that? You know, everybody in life has different gifts. You know, my gift, I just know what I'm looking at. I just really do. And I, you know, and, and it just is it, it's such, it's such a thrill knowing that what could be, and, I, and in her case, I think will be. Mm -hmm. So, my, I have two more questions for you, and then I'll let you get back to your okay. business. Yeah, I, wanna, I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, you... You know everyone here. You know the PRs. You, you know how they placed at states. You know at their conference meets and stuff like that. Where do you store all that? Well, you, 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 know, good, you know, that's a good question. You know, you know, I, I can't believe that everybody else doesn't know what I know. It just, it's, you know, it's like, I guess maybe that seems crazy. But I'm almost offended other people. How would they not like a girl like Megan Rose, is one of the all-time greatest shot putters in Baltimore County history? Why wouldn't you know that? You know, so I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's just very important to me. And, and when I say that. You know, I'm making Rose knows that I care about that, and I know I care about her. And you know, some, you're going to get a little more. You know, coach is going to get a little more on Megan Rose because I know something like that because that is important to me. Because you know, something you know is really important to her. Just like you know, Mr. Fudos, you know, 201, I think 0.32 or 67. You know, in the 800, you know, that's really important to him. 
You know, Mariah Purdy, the, the young lady from Leonore High School, 30 feet even, first 30 foot throw of her life. You tell me she's not going to remember it the rest of her life. You know, I know I'm going to remember it. You say, why, Greg? You know, I, this is important to me. Very good. Um, and just to close, from whom I, like, everyone I've talked to today, oh, we love Nick. I don't know where I'd be without There's Nick. There's a lot of stupid people out there. That's all I can <laughs> say about that, but, you know, whatever. What? But, my God. <laughs> There's a lot of students. There's a good reaction right there. I like that. But just to close, how's it feel? You're a leader out here. People what? look to you. How's that feel? It feels real good. You know, it, 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 as Lewis knows, you know, uh, modesty's never been one of my better qualities. But you know, I, I'm real proud of that. You know, I really am. And, and if I said otherwise, I'd just be full of crud. But I am a little bit full of crud. But I'm very proud of that, to be honest with you. Okay. Any questions? You think we covered it? You got it. All. That man's, you got it. And, and, you know, let me close it. You, you're cut this part. And Nico, he's a flipping.